What's going on guys? We're just a couple days away from New Year's and I figured it's time to make a New Year's design. With this design, I wanted to incorporate uh, what we like most about New Year's night or New Year's Eve and that is the countdown as well as the celebration, right? So what I incorporated into this design was a countdown that counts down from 10 and you see a countdown animation in almost everything. You see it in the background of the keyboard, you see it on the number keys itself, and if you have a Razer Basilisk mouse, you also see it in your light strip as well. As always, you can go to the description below and get a download link for this design. It will actually take you to my website for that download link, which is also full of so many other Chroma profiles that you guys can download and use on your keyboards. But if you wanna see how I did this design, then stay tuned. I'm gonna show you guys just that. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and bell icon, that way you guys don't miss out on future Razer keyboard lighting videos. We're gonna get right into this one. This one is 2020. All right guys, so this 2020 profile was made with four effect layers. And as you can see here, all four effect layers are waves, okay? So beginning with this bottom layer here, the lowest priority, this is my blue background layer. So over all of my keys and all of my peripheral lighting, every, every light option I have, I have this five tone gradient wave so what I have is a really dark blue second node, a really dark blue fourth node, and the rest are black. And my speed is a little bit slower. Width stays at 100, angles at 90, those are standard. And I checked my split option here. So what you get is just kind of a little bit of a wave pattern in the background of my 2020. The second layer is the 2020 layer. This is what actually does the highlight of the 2020 numbers on the keyboard for the numbers themselves so if i double click you can see for every row of the 2020 they're the same so what you're going to see is you're going to see the same exact wave effect for each row but i'm just changing the color of the yellow just slightly different and the only difference that you'll see between the layers is that i actually went into the color gradient and change this last digit by one value for each horizontal row. That allows it to light up all at the same time. And the same thing for my border lighting. What I did is I made this value all around the keyboard different from what I have on the inside here. And then all I did was just change the angle. So for the top, you can see it's angled up. For the right side, it's angled to the right. For the left side, angled to the left and the bottom is angled downward. Just changing the angle itself will make these all a unique wave and separate them. And I did the same thing over here with the mouse pad and the, the middle scroll wheel. Also with this wave layer, I made my firework design. So if I click on it, you can see I have uh, my wave beginning with a bright white slowly fading out. And as it goes farther from the center, you can see it slowly steps down my wave pattern down to the left as it gets farther away from the center, which makes it give off that firework look. Those first two layers make up the main body of my 2020 design. These top two layers are basically just a cover layer and Everything, all of the effects that I have on these two layers have a 10 second pause. So with this cover layer, what it does is it covers the keyboard and it goes through its wave. But when the wave finishes, it gives me a 10 second pause that you get to see the, the main body of the profile. So with these two layers, I have a 10 second pause. First, I'm gonna start with my countdown layer. So with my countdown layer, I have zero to one selected. All of my settings on all of these keys stay the same, except for my color gradient slowly starts to move down 
the color pattern here. So nine, it's a little bit over farther. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Just like that. And then you want one to be on the very left side so that as soon as that one ends, your pause begins and you get to see the 2020. Now using this layer, I'll explain my countdown cover layer. So my countdown cover layer is just basically something that covers my under layers while this countdown is going down. So I basically copied, you can see there's six rows here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, six horizontal rows. So I copied my number six key. I copied that effect and I went down into here and I pasted that effect into here. And that gave me my starting point for when this layer needs to disappear. So as soon as six hits, my top layer disappears. You can see. Same thing with the five. I copied the five, pasted that onto this layer. And you can see as I go down, just like with the countdown, you can see my black gets a little bit smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. So here on my mouse, I have eight lighting options and I use the same exact strategy with this one. So I just copied the effect from my eight key, pasted it into here, and I just slowly have it stepping down. So whenever the countdown hits eight, I start to see lights disappear from, from my mouse as well. This also counts down. And that's my 2020 Razer Chroma profile. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe and bell icon if you haven't. If you do have a really cool idea that you would like to see on a Razer keyboard lighting design, please feel free to leave a comment down in the description below or you can contact me on my social media accounts, Twitter, Instagram, and you can even catch me on Twitch every once in a while live. Make sure you guys go and check those out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.